What's up guys, this is Ankit here from highblogging.com and in this video we will see how we can connect get response with group pages, right? So before I begin the video, I'd like to tell you that uh, if after watching this video your problem is still not solved then uh, uh, or, or if you want me to work with you uh, for uh, on your project or if you want me to design a landing page or funnel for you, you can connect with me personally on my messenger and the link for that is given in the description box, okay? So coming back to video, uh, to connect get response with uh, uh, group pages so basically you know you can also use group mail but as of now uh, in this december 2020 uh, group uh, group mail is not working that efficiently and some features and automation is also not working properly so that's the only reason uh, why you can i mean then you can uh, use for other alternatives right so uh, so if you want to connect get response basically what you have to do is so this is a, a, a template that i have taken right in group pages so basically, first we have to integrate uh, get response. Okay. So to do that, just go here and click on my integrations. So I've just uh, done for Mailchimp. Similarly, I can do for uh, get response as well. Click on add from integration type, select get response, and just give a name here demo get response. And I'll need API key here, right? So to get the API key, I'll go into my get response account. And this is a free account that I have created. I think they give a thousand uh, contacts for free. So you can check it out. And uh, if you have not created, you can obviously create a new account here. So to do that, uh, to go to API, you have to just click here and you have to go to uh, here, integrations and API. So once I click here, it will come to the same page. So here you can create an API. And you can also name that API so you remember, right? So click on API here. Okay, so generate API key. And I'll just uh, give this name as demo get response and generate. So an API key will be generated. Okay, so this is the API key, right? I'll just copy it and paste it here in a group pages and update, okay? So you have successfully set up get response integration, great. Okay, so now what you have to do is, uh, I'll just take uh, from the element section and I'll go into integrations. And from here, you see this get response, right? So I'll drag and drop this uh, integration here, wherever I want, right? So I just want it uh, above the timer button, okay? So uh, I've taken this form and now uh, now there, there are design elements that come into picture. So uh, if you want, you can you can design this. Uh, so if it, now it is very small. So I just make it a little bit big and and then you have to set it up here. So just click here in the name section and go to configure and in the input ID put uh, F name and in the input name as well put F name and uh, here let it be name is fine add validation rules so this text is fine and you can also click here input cannot be empty basically it's like mandatory but i don't want to put it so i'll just click on update and similarly we'll do for the uh, second one which is email and here just put email in the small in the small letters put email and uh, input name will be email and input placeholder will, will also be email. And uh, uh, let's click here, add validation rules and input type should be email, but I want uh, email to be uh, like mandatory. Okay, so I'll just click here and update. Okay. Okay, and then I'll have to design this a subscribe button. So I'll just make it a little bit big. And the text I'll write, uh, subscribe here. And the button action should be always submit, not reset. If you select reset, it will uh, refresh the form. Okay, then go to design element. And now it's up to you, however you want. So I'll just select uh, the text size this much. And I'll select background somewhat pink. And also in the size, I'll just select it middle. 
and I'll just drag it a little bit in the center. Okay, looks good. Uh, okay, I'll have to just click on update. And these things are done. Okay, great. So don't forget to uh, click on uh, update here, yeah, or else it will not get updated. Yeah. Okay. So the subscribe button is also uh, right subscribe here. And then what you have to do is, so we can delete this if you want this, you see a small email, I'll just delete it. And also this name, I'll also delete this because you don't need that. And now there is name, email and subscribe here. Now, what you have to do is you click in between name or email or somewhere like this, right? So you should see this, this box. And here you should see get response component. Here we will have to integrate our uh, get response list like the name should go into which list so click on configure uh, this is the integration that we did and the list uh, as I have a free account so there's only one list which is created by default so this is the list and uh, day of autoresponder cycle so I have not created not autoresponder but still I just add day one and thank you redirect link so you can create like you know if you want so I'll just give a URL uh, if you have your thank you page you can uh, put that so for here I'll just put facebook.com and update okay configurations are successfully set great so now our form is done and uh, get response is completely integrated now i'll just publish this page and uh, this is the domain that i've used uh, that i'm using here it's a demo domain about property.in so i'll just publish it here and so this is not on my home page. This is a, a separate page, uh, which I've created here. So I'll just show you that page. Okay, so it says published. So this is a second page on which I'm working. The first one is different. So uh, it's like domain slash get response. Okay, so this is the URL. So I'll just check here about property was the domain that I created and slash get response. This is the URL, right? So the form that we created, we'll see here, right? Now uh, I'll uh, see uh, that whether it's working or not, I'll also go into my get response account and see whether the name and whatever I'm filling here shows up or not, right? So the name and email, uh, let's say I use this one, octorservices at gmail.com and click on subscribe here, right? So it says subscribe successfully and it goes to uh, the facebook.com what we put as uh, redirect URL, right? Now I go into my uh, uh, get response account and I want to check whether the list has come, the, the name has come or not. So I go into list and I want to check whether the Ankit name and Octor services dot, uh, at gmail uh, email has come into my account or not, right? Mm, high blogging list. Okay, great. 28 December, right? 28 December auto services okay so it's working great okay so that's all in this video and again if you have any issues if you want uh, me to work with you you can definitely connect with me on my facebook messenger the link again is given into the uh, description box okay thank you so much that's all for this video